Hi Aries, I hope that you're doing well. I send you so much love and light. Welcome to your June love reading. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn, this is Passion to Heart Tarot, and today we're gonna look into your love life in June. So I'm just gonna open myself up to spirit and see what messages come through for you guys as far as your love life and experiences you could have. Uh, maybe even advice from spirit. We'll see what kind of energy is coming in and I'll just let you guys know what comes through. All right. Um, I do hope that you enjoy this reading. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much, Aries. Let's get into it. All right, before I begin. Just want to take a moment to light the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's see what kind of energy is coming in for you in June. Oh, okay, so it's like a little bit rocky. I wonder if you guys feel like recently was someone like out of line with you or rude to you? I wonder if this has recently happened or, you know, because we're looking at the future, so it could even be a prediction. Look at these energies coming through. So some of these messages, I'm going to talk about separating from someone or breaking up with someone. Um, I'll pull more cards after this. This is like the first part of the reading. Just a heads up to you from spirit, you know, Aries. So you know what this looks like? Uh, it's not over. It's definitely not over. So even if you end up breaking up with someone it's not really over and i see you like trying to figure things out so some of you already know that this happened and spirits letting you know that it's not over and it's like trying to figure things out because look at this it really goes hand in hand because the world card in reverse shows me that the cycle between you and this person is not done like it's not over yet i see an ending that's here and that makes me wonder, is it like this all the time with this person? Is it back and forth, breakup, makeup? Because if that's so, I see that same energy coming in of breaking up, figuring things out. You know what? This person is going to apologize. I can see this five of swords when in love and when things get heated, this can be very petty but also like with the intention of hurting the other one it's really with the intention of hurting the other one with the things that i say to them the five of swords whoever is in that energy is going to regret it and whoever has been this way currently regrets it and is going to apologize because i just know that for whoever it is that is this way ends up apologizing for it but it's like there's certain things that can't be taken back let me explain to you the five of swords because do you see how the if you look in the background it almost looks like that one's head is held down and they're crying and why does this one have all the swords it's like a battle but it's like an argument a battle with words and it almost feels like I'm going to fight dirty. As long as I can get the last word, I'm going to hit below the belt. As long as I come out on top. But it's like, okay, you may feel like, and I don't mean you, Aries. I'm talking to this person who does that. They may feel like they win that short-term victory, but in the end, they're going to totally regret being this way, behaving this way, saying these things, acting this way, and they're absolutely going to apologize. But it feels like it's not so easy to apologize this time. Because some of you where I can see it goes around and around and you break up and you make up, you know, you forgive this person, you let them come back into the picture, because I know some of you here are very just kind hearted, and you give them chance after chance, because you'd want someone to be that way with you even. The Queen of Pentacles is very sweet and generous. They're like a real sweetheart, and they are very generous and loving and kind and forgiving. But you know what? It looks like this time when this person 
says these things to you that you don't deserve to hear or is just like out and out mean or calls you out of your name or just feels like they totally disrespect you verbally. I don't see you just embracing this person with open arms again. It feels like you're trying to figure it out. So you, you remain in the state of being broken up with this person as you figure it out. But then this Queen of Pentacles is different now because this is someone whose vibe has changed and they're not going to just be the same forgiving, 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 loving person. It feels like their vibe has changed and they're like, you know what? I'm thinking about the way that I've given this person a lot of chances and it's starting to really make me mad. I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit resentful about having my kindness taken for weakness and I'm not going to be treated this way anymore. So there's a lot to tell you, Aries, depending on what's going on with you, if you resonate with this energy. For some of you here, you know exactly what this is and this could have already happened where you uh, are not with this person now because of the things that they said to you and how you felt they treated you. But then still in the back of your mind, you'd give them a, you, you, it's not like it's done though. So it's like this weird gray area where it's, you're broken up, but it's not really done. And maybe depending on how this person is or what, or how they act, you'll judge them based on that. So it still feels like you're being fair to them, even though you have this new outlook where you're not going to be taken advantage of and your kindness is not going to be taken for weakness. So it just looks like, you know, some of you could know that you've already gone through that now. And for others of you, if it's a prediction and you resonate with the energy, I can see where you kind of have a change of heart. Where, you know, watching this, maybe you feel like you're always the one that kind of forgives this person. Because I'm sure that if they're this comfortable to just kind of pop off like that and be rude like that, feels like they've done it before. But it also feels like you guys go around and around again. Because I'm sure, you know, when they're saying things to you, I'm sure you can hold your own Aries. But like, it almost feels like I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be in that vibe. I don't want to be like angry. So what I'm saying to you is I see a breakup. It's already happened for some of you or like a separation or a distance. I see that. And then I see an apology. This person, whoever it is that was that way, coming back, apologizing, being super humble and apologetic, and even um, thanking you for always being there for them when they're down and when they needed you. And I can see some of you here listening to this person but then also it kind of angers you and you feel like, well, I'm tired of having my kindness taken for weakness. And some of you, even though angry and you feel this way, you don't like to see your person hurting. You don't like to see them down. Some of you naturally are just very kind hearted and super forgiving like a saint like to a fault and, and when you see this person humble when you see them hurting like you don't want to see them like that so you could like it's funny because they're the ones that are apologizing to you that did wrong by you said things to you that you didn't deserve and they're you know hurt because of it but then you end up taking care of them and don't want them to feel that way. So there's a lot going on with some of you here. So I guess what Spirit wants you to know is if you experience this already, they're absolutely going to apologize and be very humble. And I can see although you're upset with them, Aries, you you don't exactly embrace them with open arms but then there's like a like you you're very kind and loving and you don't want to see them hurt so that's why it feels there's a vibe of trying to figure things out some of you know that this has already happened and you're trying to figure things out now 
for others of you, it feels like, you know, since this is a prediction, I can see this person saying things that are really out of line, but then they end up regretting it, even though it causes the two, it causes a huge rift between the two of you. They end up regretting it. They end up apologizing. And it just looks like you're in a position where you're just trying to figure out like what to do. So it, it just feels like when I pick up on the energy, when I read these cards, I feel like I'm confused and I don't know what to do. So since I feel that way, I know some, because this is really, it's so contradictory, really. It's like we're, we're apart, but it's not over. So I know some of you, uh, since I feel it, it could be what you feel. It could be what you experience. And it also feels like it's spirit showing you into someone's pattern. That, it, that have you thought about it like that? And I don't mean to sound like condescending when I ask this question, but I wonder like, have you, have you, do you see for yourself how with someone this is a pattern of doing the wrong things and then apologizing and, and saying that they're gonna do the right things and then doing the wrong things all over again, apologizing and saying that they're gonna do the right things. Someone here does have a person that takes advantage of their partner's kindness. It, they do. And even they take advantage um, of, or it's like a, an emotional blackmail where they know that they are needy and they're not maybe in the best place and they put a guilt trip on their person. I can see how someone does that. And since I can see it and realize it, it could be things that since it's coming through in your reading that you may be in alignment to realizing and seeing. Okay, Aries, that is what I can see. Let's look even further and see what are your messages. More messages to you from Spirit. And when I say that you that someone here has a person that takes advantage of their kindness, that does not mean that the person is kind, is at fault, or like weak in any way. No, there's nothing wrong with being kind and forgiving and loving. What's wrong is having someone that takes advantage of that. So that doesn't mean that you should change who you are. There's nothing wrong with being a forgiving person. The, the person that's wrong is whoever chooses to take advantage of that. And I guess, you know, it's, it's important to think about healthy boundaries. But whoever it is that is kind, if you're beating yourself up, you shouldn't. Because that's not even fair to you. All right, Aries, let's look further and see what your messages are. You know what it feels like? For those of you, because this feels like it goes hand in hand with the beginning, although I try to look and dig and maybe see what's going on for other groups of you, um, some of you will resonate with both of these. Others of you could just be very focused on yourselves right now because this energy shows me uh, you concentrating on things other than your love life, Aries. So it feels like some of you in June, especially if you feel like you resonate with that first spread, could shift the focus and really start concentrating on work, throwing yourselves into your work, or maybe even it's just like distracting yourselves and uh, picking up old hobbies again or focusing on things that uh, is a hobby of yours. It's just like I'm, I'm, Putting these blinders on and I'm pouring myself into either my work, my school, my studies, or whatever this is that I'm just choosing to put my focus on to. But it's other than love. It's other than this person. It looks like you guys are not going to let someone keep draining you and taking from you. And the overall energy is the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Could be a Taurus you're involved with, or maybe your own moon or rising sign. Sagittarius is also here. This could be the person on your mind as you watch, or cross watchers, or your moon or rising sign. It's all coming through. 
there's a lot to tell you here. So what I see you guys doing in June is shifting all of the focus back onto yourself, whether it's like I named school, work, hobbies, or it's just like me and I'm working on myself and I'm doing things to take care of myself. Uh, maybe even making lifestyle changes, changes to your diet, changes to your physical activity. What It's shifting the focus back onto yourself, pampering yourself. And, and things that you've neglected before, really uh, fo shifting the focus and being very detail-oriented when it comes to yourself and, and what's going on with you. So I feel like that's a beautiful thing. And you know what happens? Is you start to get such a good sense, Aries, of what is important to you. Like, I know some of you feel like you've settled and some of you feel like you've been very kind and, and you're forgiving and your kindness has been taken for weakness, right? The Hierophant is a beautiful overall energy because this is like tapping back into what is important to you as far as like your ethics, your morals, your beliefs, whether it's religious or spiritual, just like coming into alignment with your higher self and seeing and realizing what is important to you in a partner, what's important to you in your life, how like ways that you deserve to be treated. It's connecting to such a higher energy because it's almost spiritual and religious and seeing like what's really important and what you deserve and like remaining steadfast in those beliefs. And even though you have, okay, I'll get to that in a second. Because when you embody this and you focus back on yourself in whichever way you choose to do it, I think you're going to feel like such a sense of peace and relief because look how calm that water is. It just represents so much about feeling like things are smooth in your life. Huge sense of relief for you, I can see when you shift the focus back onto yourself. So that could be a piece of advice to someone here, or maybe even for those of you that are in a connection, are you not, it seems like you're not focusing on yourself enough. Don't forget about yourself. Don't neglect yourself. It is okay to take care of yourself and focus focus on yourself. I feel like that's even advice to someone because I can see how positive it is for you when you do that, which if you're in a connection can ultimately be positive for the connection. I have to say when you're doing all of this self-focus and self-improvement, you draw people to you uh, left and right. I can see two different people and then even I can see two different people. And that person that you ended things with that I can see in the first spread where maybe it's not really over, but you're trying to figure out. But but mostly you're just concentrating on yourself. That's the key thing. They are going to try with all of their might to fix things with you. They're going to try and do it like I can see where they're already trying but it feels like with the tower card in reverse, that is like really pulling out all the stops. But it's like at this point, you have other options, Aries. Not only is it that person that I could see from the beginning of the reading that is like begging you for another chance, begging to make things right with you, pleading and praying and wishing and hoping on on bended knee and i'm not saying that to belittle them but it really is like i'm begging to get my aries back you also have other people that in the meantime are trying to pursue you as well because these pages feel like um something that could blossom if you chose to embrace it it feels like something that's coming in at the beginning stages so not only do you have that person from before that i could see trying to make things right with you you also have other people that are going to express their interest in you as well so it's like when you shift the focus back onto yourself it's funny because your love life starts to blossom again whether it's new people coming in or that person from before trying to make things right with you but honestly it feels like what you guys do in june is just pour all of the focus back onto yourself because 
I could see where some of you have these other people coming in at the ground level, so to speak, but it doesn't feel like you are really interested. It's not that they don't have something to offer. This just feels like I have personal goals and nothing is going to distract me from my personal goals. Like I said, you guys really remain steadfast in your inner work. Or, or even, you know, whatever that looks like to you, because I named a few different things depending on how you choose to focus this energy. I just see where you're laser focused and it's just all about you. So even though you have other people coming in, yeah, that's flattering. That feels nice. And I think it's something that even makes you hold your head up a little bit higher. And it's even something that makes you more confident and steadfast in this newfound sense of what you want for yourself and what you deserve. And it looks like throughout June, you have that person uh, that I can see you broke up with, uh, begging, I don't know how else to put it, begging to get another chance with you. And it, like I said at the beginning of the reading, it looks like in June, you're just figuring everything out. Moreover, figuring yourself out and who you want and what you want to do. I feel like, yeah, that's kind of a singles vibe. For those of you that are in relationships watching this, it feels like it could be really important for you to, especially if you feel like your person is hurting you, but you're not going to walk away from them. Maybe it's just a rocky time, a rough patch. I feel like advice to you from spirit, the best thing for you to do, the best way forward is to just shift the focus back onto yourself. Whether that's you you pouring yourself into your work, you're pouring yourself into uh, your own well-being, a new lifestyle, self-improvements, even home improvements for some of you. If there's like, you know, you're really crafty or you're really like, you know, good with your hands and there's things that you want to do around the house to kind of create a distraction for yourself whatever is bringing you focus and joy whatever brings a sense of peace and ease into your energy i feel like spirit is advising that you shift the focus back onto yourself and what brings you peace and pleasure and and stability so that's what spirit is showing me because i know some of you could be wondering like okay so we, I walk away from them. I shift the focus back onto myself. They're begging to get back to me. And then what will happen next? I feel like your, your reading is like cut out there because I feel like for some of you, you're not getting more messages about what happens after that because maybe you are meant to just shift the focus back onto yourself and concentrate on yourself because you're going to ascend into this vibration of the Hierophant, seeing what's important to you as far as like core values and, and seeing for yourself what is going to make you feel you're in alignment with someone and like your, your values and those most important things align. It's like very personal and something that when you shift the focus back onto yourself, you're going to make that choice for yourself whether or not this person aligns with you. That's very personal. That's what I can see going on. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you guys. I do hope that the reading was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next reading.